The test is ready. Let's go! Oh, we have Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're facing off between Friends and The Big Bang Theory, comparing their similarities and differences, strengths and weaknesses. We'll be looking at their friend circle, the stars that appeared on the show, and their hangout locations, to name a few, to see who reigns sitcom supreme. I am settling once and for all, who is the smartest around here? Round 1. Friendship while both sitcoms focus on the friendships at the center of the show, the chemistry and bond between Monica, Rachel, Ross, Chandler, Joey, and Phoebe is tough to compete with. Phoebs, you can't do that. You can't. Oh, wait, I have the tennis spades. No, you want no, to no. <laughs> uh, no, see, uh, you, you can't do that. Oh, no, 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 that's okay, that's okay. I don't need them. I'm going for fours. Oh, you're. <laughs> Whether through sibling relationships, romantic entanglements, or roommate situationships, this friend group is more intertwined than most. There is almost no friend pairing in the group that is closer than another, as they all have their special moments. Joey had an imaginary childhood friend. His name was... Maurice! Correct. His profession was... Oh, Space Cowboy! Correct! <laughs> what is Chandler Bing's job? The whole point of the show is friendship, and how friends can be your chosen family. And friends set the stage for many friendship-centered shows that followed. There's a pregnant woman in Ohio and she picked us. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. The friendships on The Big Bang Theory are nothing to scoff at, and the friendships shared among the gang are truly heartwarming and memorable. There was a time I never would have been friends with someone like you, and now you are one of my favorite people. So if what you need is to spend your birthday in a bathroom, I'm happy to do it with you. From unlikely friendships like Sheldon and Penny's to staple ones like Raj and Howard, they all had their moments in the sun and reminded us of what real friendship can look like. Actually, I don't want to know. I want all of them to be true. Well, one of them is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Besides the friendships, though, the central focus of the show is the lifestyle of the geniuses as they try to interact with the real world, as opposed to friends, which, you know, is clearly solely about the group of friends. I have been encouraged, sustained, inspired, and tolerated not only by my wife, but by the greatest group of friends anyone ever had. The Big Bang Theory has more complexity to it, and the special friendships in it are undeniable. But Friends has to take the cake here. Oh, it's like a fun game. Winner, Friends. Round two, relationships. The friend groups in both Friends and The Big Bang Theory date within and outside of their group throughout the show. Ross and Rachel are a classic will-they-or-won't-they they couple, and Monica and Chandler are the more steadfast duo. I'm in love with Monica! You're... You're what? Love her! That's right! I love her! I love her! Joey dates endlessly, and Phoebe allegedly never has a serious relationship until she ends up getting married. And who could forget about the on-again, off-again relationship with Janice? You want me. You need me. You can't live without me. And you know it. You just don't know you know it. We love the romantic situations on the show. But as we already know, the friend group is the focal point here. And on The Big Bang Theory, the romantic relationships are more impactful and meaningful. See? He's her lobster. The Big Bang Theory starts with Penny moving in across the hall from Sheldon and Leonard. Our babies will be smart and beautiful. Penny is a part of the friend group right away, and Bernadette and Amy join when they become involved with Howard and Sheldon. So the romantic relationships play a huge part in forming this beloved friend group. From the first moment in that coffee shop, I knew that there was something special between us even though I did work on a study that disproved love at first sight. The reason the romantic relationships on the show are so relevant is that they forced the boys to grow into men by interacting with women who challenge them. It seems like the character development that happens throughout the show is due largely to the courtships and marriages that occur on it. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you. Bernadette. For that reason, this round has to go to the Big Bang Theory. Even if I can't tell you now how I feel, I will spend my life showing you 
how much I love you. Winner, The Big Bang Theory. Round three, cultural impact. Friends has found its way into our everyday world, with it being internationally recognized as one of the best sitcoms of all time, and it's beloved by generations, even decades after the airing of the finale. Look around, you guys. This was your first home. And it was a happy place, filled with love and laughter. Even though the show ended nearly 20 years ago, it's still a comfort show for most, and at the very least, a nostalgic viewing for many. Pivot! 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 Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! From the Rachel haircut to the Thanksgiving episodes to that iconic theme song, this show has stood the test of time in terms of popularity, and only time will tell if the Big Bang Theory will have the same longevity. Is there any chance that you can look at this as flattering? I mean, she's doing it because she wants to be more like you. Well, then, you know, couldn't she have just copied my haircut? With 12 seasons total and one successful spin-off, there's no doubt that The Big Bang Theory has seen wild success. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. <laughs> one ring to bring them all. And in the darkness bind them. And is groundbreaking in its depiction of nerd culture and unconventional friend groups. The show even had a real-life impact on viewers who were encouraged to pursue careers in science and technology. So its impact may be even further reaching than we realize. From a young age, we girls are encouraged to care more about the way we look than about the power of our minds. <laughs> That's true. Every one of you has the capacity to be anything you want to be. While both sitcoms had a long syndicated run, Friends is a phenomenon in the television world and continues to be long after the series finished, with global appeal that is truly unrivaled. I need to determine where in this swamp of unbalanced formulas squatteth the toad of truth. Friends takes this round. I mean, it's the end of an era! I know! Winner, Friends. Round four, catchphrases. Both Friends and The Big Bang Theory have several iconic lines that are easily recognizable by millions of fans. Oh, well, what I do is uh, I look a woman up and down and I say, Hey, how you doing? On Friends, Joey's How You Doing is infamous as being the most well-known for this smooth-talking ladies' man. Who could forget Ross's incessant use of, we were on a break? When talking about the controversial situation with him and the copy girl, when he and Rachel were taking some time apart. We were on a break! Coffee house? You bet. Top that off with Chandler's, could I be, insert anything here, and even Janice's, oh my god. And you've got a smorgasbord of quotable moments. They do me? <laughs> You know, like, um, okay, um, could that report be any later? <laughs> I don't sound like that. Oh, oh, chill. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory doesn't shy away from recognizable lines, and they became an unforgettable part of the show and the characters' personalities. That is my spot. In an ever-changing world, it is a single point of consistency. If my life were expressed as a function on a four-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system, that spot at the moment I first sat on it would be zero, 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 zero. Most of the more well-known ones come from the quirky theoretical physicist that we all know and love. Dr. Sheldon Cooper, from knocking three times on Penny's door to being sung soft kitty, to insisting his spot is in fact his to bazinga, Sheldon delivered on the catchphrases big time. The show simply wouldn't be the same without them, whereas the catchphrases on Friends aren't as recognizable as part of the characters' everyday lives as much as they are just a fun addition. Soft kitty, form kitty, little ball of fun. The Big Bang Theory takes the win in the fourth round. Bazinga, punk, now we're even. Winner, The Big Bang Theory. Round five, guest stars. Friends has appearances from several iconic actors over its 10 season run, and it's one of the things that it has become known for. I'm sorry, what? I said it was typical. Typical of you, Rachel Green, Queen Rachel, does whatever she wants in the little Rachel land.
Brad Pitt makes an appearance as Rachel's sworn enemy, and Julia Roberts plays Chandler's long-lost fling who he did wrong. Sean Penn plays Ursula's fiancé turned Phoebe's boyfriend, and Bruce Willis plays Rachel's boyfriend and Ross's girlfriend's father. Okay, I'll give you one chance to change my mind. You got one minute. <laughs> Daddy. Fine. Two minutes. Go. That is just scratching the surface of the many actors who were on the show, and we can't imagine this sitcom without our favorite actors making surprise appearances. Can I have a nice thing? Could you please have a nice thing? That is the mini thing, alright? You are all the thing, alright? Enough! And you are no longer my friend. We are finished. Nada, no more! The Big Bang Theory had its fair share of notable guest stars, most of whom are particularly well-known in the academic community or in nerd culture. What do you mean, wrong? <laughs> you made an arithmetic mistake on page two. It was quite a boner. The interesting thing with the guest stars on The Big Bang Theory is that most of them played themselves on the show. Will Wheaton, James Earl Jones, Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Stan Lee are a few we saw appearing as themselves on the show. You know, you fanboys are unbelievable. Do you think you can just ring my doorbell anytime you want? I mean, why don't you just come on in and watch the Lakers game with me? These are exceptional stars to have on a sitcom, and their appearances perfectly match the tone of the show. Big surprise. Podcast here wants to talk. <laughs> what do you think, Leonard? I think this is the greatest day of my entire life. <laughs> the guest stars on Friends appealed to a more general demographic and had more noteworthy ones than The Big Bang Theory, so they take the win here. Anybody. Okay. <laughs> Winner, Friends. Round six, The Apartments. While one sitcom takes place in Los Angeles and the other in New York, both friend groups' living arrangements bear important similarities. Wow. I know. Seems smaller somehow. Has it always been purple? They live in apartments across the hall from one another, with one set of friends living on one side and another set on the other. It's so pretty! It's so pretty! And look, it's, and it's purple! And I'm telling you, you with your steady hand, I am not moving. In Friends, Joey and Chandler live across from Monica and Rachel, where lots of important moments take place on the show. As we learn in the finale, every member of the friend group lived there at one point, and it's located right above their favorite hangout, Central Perk. Hey, do you realize that at one time or another, we all lived in this apartment? Oh, yeah, that's true. The purple walls, mismatched dining chairs, and rent-controlled bliss are recognizable, and the apartments on Friends play a central role in the show's premise. Leonard may not have been thrilled in the beginning to be living with Sheldon, but he sure was happy about it later on. Uh, the bedrooms are back there? That depends. I don't understand. Their, their existence is conditional? <laughs> no, but your ability to perceive their existence is conditional on you passing the second and third barriers. As he got to live across the hall from his future wife, the apartment was a central hangout for their growing gang, with many game nights, movie viewings, and takeout food being consumed throughout the years. It is reserved for the most important and valued member of the group. <laughs> all for this high honor. <laughs> it becomes a home to Leonard and Penny. While Penny's apartment started as a messy oasis, it becomes the girls' hangout and Amy and Sheldon's eventual place. That's your side. No, but I'm also closer to the entrance in case of attack. <laughs> okay, I'll take that side. Ah, then again, what are the odds of someone attacking me? Rising rapidly. Though the stairs to the apartment provided a great narrative device for the show, the apartments here simply aren't as iconic as the ones on Friends. And for that reason, they win this round. It's gonna be 10 times better than that place. Winner, Friends. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round 7, Pop Culture References 
In Friends, Joey stars on Days of Our Lives, Rachel is a soap opera fanatic, Monica and Ross appear on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, and Joey plays the pyramid. You put this on a sandwich. Salami, anchovies, jam. It's white, paper, snow, a ghost. It's made from eggs. Chickens. The friend group is well-versed with popular TV shows, movies, and singers, referencing Sting, Baywatch, and Pulp Fiction. And these references are all super relevant at the time this show aired. Was that the oven timer? <laughs> That's right, my friend. It's time for... Watch. Both sitcoms have their own brand of cultural references, with Friends being more well-versed and The Big Bang Theory being more specific. And given the different time frames, it's tough to compare the two. <laughs> This show lives for pop culture reference, particularly those found in nerd culture. Not only did we go to Skywalker Ranch, we got in. And no one we know can say that. It's no secret that Leonard, Sheldon, Howard, and Raj are massive fans of movies like Star Wars, shows like Star Trek, and franchises like the DC Universe comics. They go to Comic-Con, build Lego Death Stars, and roleplay with Harry Potter characters. As shown with the guest stars that are featured, they live and breathe their references. What actor holds the record for being named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive? William Shatner. <laughs> I don't think it's Shatner. Then it's gotta be Patrick Stewart. <laughs> but the cultural references on Friends are extremely pertinent in the 90s and 2000s, which makes this round a tie. All right, we have a tie. Luckily, I have prepared for such an event. The Big Bang Theory is a great and classic sitcom, but even it can outscore Friends. By a score of five to three, Friends is the winner of this versus battle. Do you agree that Friends reign supreme? Let us know in the comments. I think we should go out and celebrate, you know, someplace nice. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.